and welcome to this year's Interfaith Christmas Party. Before we begin, I would like to ask you all a question. When I say the word Christmas, what comes to mind? Christmas trees? Santa Claus? Beautifully decorated shopping malls? Parties like this? What is Christmas? Today, the youth section for the Parish Ministry of Ecumenical and Interreligious Affairs will be presenting to you a play entitled The True Meaning of Christmas. So relax, enjoy your dinner, and enjoy the play as well. Yeah, guys. Who is that? Eh? That was Jasmine. She was from our Sunday school. 
Does she look familiar? Well, yeah, she's from our Sunday school and all that. So, uh, why are you smiling one time? Well, I asked her out, but then she asked me to come for Christmas campaign for the poor. Christmas campaign for the poor? Oh, you're going? Well, I don't know. But she asked me to come tomorrow. Hey, hey, hey. Why don't you guys come and join me? I will only come if she has sisters. She's got two. And let's go! Let's go this way.
Um, hi, hello, Jasmine. Hi, Stefan here. Listen, I was wondering whether we could catch up with some dinner tomorrow night. Would you be free? Oh, you have confession. Oh, well, well, you see, I'd love to come, but the thing is, I haven't been for confession in a long, long time. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I could come for confession, but, um, well, okay, I could come. Yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, bye. Send a 
message to her. He proclaimed that she is to have a son and he will be named Jesus. God could make him a great ruler so he can rule over God's people forever. So, Stephen, do you know where this is going? Um, well, I kind of get the whole gist of the story. You mean to say you don't recall the story? Well, I do remember my father telling me the story a long, long time ago. But then again, my father didn't have long hair, pretty eyes. I'm going to continue the story, Stephen. <laughs> Mary and her husband, Joseph, traveled to Bethlehem for this occasion. When they reached Bethlehem, it was time for her to have the baby. But they could not find a room in any guest house. So they went into a barnyard. And that very night, Mary gave birth to a son. An angel appeared to them. They conveyed the message to the shepherds that the Savior has been born and that they will be able to find the baby wrapped in soft cloth in a manger. This message led them to the child and all who heard about the child were amazed. From the east, saw the bright star from where Jesus was born and followed it. This star led them to the manger where they found the child with his mother Mary. They knelt down and worshipped him. They offered gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Wow, Jasmine, this is something really new. You know, actually, all this while, when I was going after you, you actually brought me closer to God through Christmas. I can't thank you anymore. Thank you. Thank you for enjoying the show. As you can see, the spirit of giving and